if it's going to do a plank cycle. Do you want to use my mat? <laughs> Who's mat? Oh, I'm a yoga mat. mat. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, God. Is this it? Yeah. Or Snapchat and Mac worried about my butt saying don't lose her butt don't worry about my butt worry about my health and my happiness but I don't want to lose my butt either I really hope I don't lose on my way to Shane's podcast it's gonna be really fun why am I yelling like <laughs> those my YouTube boys hey guys what's up I'm trying to get out of my YouTube voice because when I watch my YouTube videos back I'm like girl you need to calm the fuck down lower your voice who are you yelling at Actually just filmed something for MTV. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it or not, but I you'll see it soon. And the director at MTV literally said, Why are you yelling at me? I don't know. I just watch back my oldest, like if you watch my first YouTube videos, the way I speak is so it's almost it's boring to me when I watch it. So I just wanted to be louder. But I don't really know why I equated being louder with being less boring. Hi guys, I was just at Shane and Friends. Yeah! <laughs> and um, I'll let you guys know when it's up, so just, you know, check me out. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look the same in the Snapchat, but from my eyes, my butt looks so nice. There we go. <gasps> That's how girls look big on Instagram. Oh my God. I found it. Oh my look at these sad ass clouds. Like, <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I've already filmed two vines and a musically. I'm about to film a couple or a few YouTube videos. I did a you now for like an hour. It was great. I missed you guys. This is a good day. Today I wasn't with my trainer and he told me that I had to do my abs and my planks and stuff without him and he doesn't believe that I'm doing them. So I'm showing him real time footage of me doing them. <laughs> <laughs> gonna break my phone showing you that I'm doing this but switch <clears throat> oh my god I need my hand I need my hand so my trainer just told me that I was supposed to do all of that three times and I only did it once so now I have to do it again <laughs> but go tell him I'm doing it okay about Mac a lot in my snapchats this is him because I figured you guys didn't even know who he was and I'm over here talking about him all the time so there's the mystery <laughs> There's waist on my ankles. Yeah. I've got the magic unicorn horn. 
and a little unicorn horn right here, and a little unicorn horn right here, and a little horn. To film a fan mail video and a taste test video and some other things, but I just found a gift from my friend Oriel and it's in my P.O. box like a little bag. I'm like literally crying. This is one of the sweetest things a friend has ever done for me. She sent me this journal and she wrote a little personal note in the beginning of it. She sent this coloring book and these colored pencils and wrote to do it to relieve stress. <laughs> Every page she wrote a little like quote to make me happy, like if I'm feeling down and it's just really sweet. Just literally the sweetest person in the entire planet. One of the most compassionate, caring people ever. And I told her that I was upset and she sent this overnight. Hey guys, you probably already heard about this, but the CW has a new show coming on tonight called Containment. They asked us to check it out. That's what we going to Yeah! Okay, so this airs tonight. We need to be rested. We need to be prepared. Okay. We gotta take a nap. Okay, good idea. There's breaking news! I'm looking at the symptoms for it. Apparently it's contagious. <laughs> Don't cough on me! What's your problem? No, I couldn't have caught it first. I haven't left my house in four days. You're the one with the life. You did this! At least I washed my hands! Doesn't matter who brought it first, all I know is I'm really nauseous and I think I have the virus. You're nauseous because you had three burritos, a pizza, and an ice cream for breakfast. No, Liza. I have the virus. If I start coughing up blood, I know for sure. No! I have so much left to do, I never even taught my goldfish how to fetch. I still don't know how to tie my shoes. I never kissed a boy. What? I've kissed so many boys. Kisses. Gabby! <gasps> Wake up, you were dreaming. You almost missed the premiere. Oh, right! Make sure you tune into the CW tonight for the premiere of Containment at 9 8 Central. Uh huh. And don't worry, guys, we are perfectly healthy. Ah, you! <laughs> met the most annoying person I've ever met in my entire life next to me. As you know, I've been working with a trainer, but um, I'm a member at a gym, and the gym keeps calling me. They're like, you have a free personal training session. Come in, come in. So finally, I was like, you know what? I might as well. Why not? He calls himself the giant ginger or something like that, and he is so obnoxious and talks so fast, and you could tell he just rehearses all these jokes all day long. Talking to me like I was stupid, and I can't stand that. Like, And, and it, honestly, he was a Sesame Street character. That's exactly what it was. Thing. You know when people will talk really fast and rattle off a bunch of facts, a sound fact, like, so when you do this, your muscles do this, which of course, obviously, in turn, like, your fat will do this, but if you do this in your heart rate, Sesame Street character. Actually, no, you know what? It was Dora the Explorer. So the entire time he kept asking me questions like this. So if your lean muscle mass goes up, then what goes down? Third, you're fat. And he, <laughs> okay, this was actually really funny, but I couldn't laugh because I was already so annoyed with him as a person. I answered, you're fat. And he goes, hey, don't say that. I'm in great shape. He met his girlfriend, and every time I would say something, he was like, oh my god, I have to tell my girlfriend you said that. And then at one point, he actually picked up his phone in the middle of our session and started texting his girlfriend something. I said. It was an hour long, and we only worked out for 15 minutes, by the way, and there were so many funny and obnoxious things that happened. I wish I could remember more, but I can't believe I worked out with Dora the Explorer today. Yeah, I'd love to give you, like, a That's my deodorant.